welcome to Girl Graduate Analysis 101. I'm Kate. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for joining me. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And don't forget to hit the bell so you know when I upload more videos. All right, guys, we're going to talk about how the narcissist, due to their lack of uh, responsibility, and uh, how um, swap roles with the kids. So how the narcissist ends up switching roles with the kids where, you know, there's a role reversal where now they are the kids and the kids are now the parents. You know, so this is how this happens and what you need to, you know, when you, you know, watch out for this so you know what to, um, how to advise the kids so they don't take on this baggage. All right. Um, first of all, then if they live with the narcissist or the, you live with them, you are with, they kind of switch, move the role or the responsibility of checking up on them to the kids. So that's the, the, as a parent, they don't call to check up on their kids or come to see their kids they now switch that to the kids having requesting the kids now to be it's not their job to check in on the on the parent you know so that is they are not supposed to and if they call and the kids are not following this and this is how it is in my my case um they get mad at the kids you know they don't want that responsibility to solely be on them to be checking up on, 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 on the narcissist, you know, that's one. And two is, uh, if this have a scheduled, um, you know, maybe a school function or even birthday, you know, and they move that responsibility if they miss it or, uh, you know, they don't show up, even though they know ahead of time, they're supposed to show up for this event. If they miss it, they switch that to the kids where they blame the kids obviously oh you didn't remind you didn't remind me you're supposed to remind me of this you're supposed to remind me of that you should you didn't tell me you, you know it was today now this is them already knowing that they're supposed to be doing this so but because they don't want to feel that uh shame of having you know done what they're supposed to do in front of all these people that they're aware of that they missed it so they switched that to use it was, it was your fault you should have told me even though i have it marked on my calendar you didn't even though i know three weeks ahead of time that i'm supposed to be going to this but you should have known you should have reminded me you should have reminded me that tomorrow was your birthday or yesterday was your birthday you know stuff like that you know so another way is they tell the kids adult conversation this is where they'll discuss you uh, how you know how you, whatever you did them wrong and you did this there and you know how they're the victim you know they play all that with the kids telling the you know telling the kids whatever it is that you know they felt that you did to them you know or they can discuss financial uh you know the financial burden if you're paying them child support they can be talking to the kids how you're not paying enough you should be paying more because you know the kids they cost money you know or if they uh they are paying uh, the, the child support uh, you know they'll tell the kids how you know now they don't have anything because you're taking all their money you know so the, what this ends up doing obviously the is the child will feel guilt about this and of course they are obliged i mean they feel uh moved to either comfort the parent you know why they're feeling bad about this or trying to trying to make it better better because obviously that's you know kids they want to make it better but what ends up happening is you know they take on this role of now they are now the uh, psychologist and counselor for the you know the uh, the parents on this also uh, they, they can do this as well where they now besides telling the the kids about the issues <laughs> quote unquote that they um you have with them and how you wrong them Eventually, they start telling the kid as well about the new supply. Yes, this happened in my case. They start discussing, telling the, the, the kids now, your child now becomes uh, the, the, the person, the counselor for this, where now the narcissist is telling your child about what the new supply is doing, have issues, they would discuss uh, the new supply with your child. You know, and in the weird thing about this is, that even the new supply will end up start discussing issues now to your child about about the narcissist so the, your child is caught in the middle yes this actually happened <laughs> guys this actually happened 
my poor 11 year old <laughs> you know so they it is now the go between so they unleash all this on him this other one comes over there and do, does the same thing so and now he's caught in between trying to you know you're trying, trying to comfort you know <laughs> one or the other you know it's it's weird but this is uh uh how they reverse the roles you know between you know, they move to the child's place and push your child to the parent place and of course so when you hear about all this like i, I you know i heard that this happened so of course you, you know you pay attention you know ad advise your kids to stay out of any fight any any kind of issue between the narcissist and the uh, the new supplier or whatever that they stay out and if they bring a discussion to the uh just like I told my kids, they bring in a discussion about child support, about money, about the issues between the, they're having with you or they're having with the new supply. I told them to tell them this, you know, dad, mom, I'm, I'm, I'm a kid. Uh, those are adults. That is an adult uh, conversation. You know, I'm a kid. To remind them <laughs> that they are kids, that they, they cannot take on this, uh, you know, responsibility. They say, okay, you tell them. I'm a kid. I can't. This is adult, adult conversation. I'm just a kid, you know. So that's what I told my kids because these people will, like I said, they're looking for a emotional baggage anyway. So they're gonna push all this to your child, which a child feels that they're supposed to not act like an, as an as an adult, you know, to these people. And like I said, it ends up being even from moving not only just the narcissist but now the new supply so you did not be go between so if they live with a narcissist this might be happening or if they visit in my own case this obviously happened you know so you pay attention to the you know to the kids you know look for those signs where you know especially they, you know they're trying to make the kids in charge of checking up on them when they're supposed to you know because if you let that set in and that becomes the norm the child automatically feels responsible you know to be checking up on the child not there's anything wrong with you know calling to see how you know your other parent is doing that's fine but when it is now a a, a a demand that is solely your job to be calling you know the the, the narcissist then that's where you gotta put a stop to it so the kids don't feel like that's you know, slowly taking up of looking after, you know, unquote, uh, of the narcissist, because that's exactly what they want. You know, you already know you live with them. They want some people to be dancing around them in circles. That's, you know, they're the center of attention. You know, they're trying to discuss uh, uh, child support with the kid or any kind of financial issue with the child. You let them find something to tell the kids to be replied like this, I'm a child. Or find something to tell them so that they can remove themselves from the situation so these people can stop telling them these things or trying to put them in adult situations when they are not old enough because you know the narcissist doesn't care they don't care it's, it's you are there to be used unfortunately you are there to be used and they find the use for the child that's exactly what they're gonna do you know so you pay attention to this because the narcissist will definitely swap roles parent to child and child to parent with the kids all right guys get your mind right and everything else will fall into place please like share subscribe and let me know what you think and of course i'll see you in the next video take care